Welcome back to Instruments of Destruction, the game where we build crazy instruments of destruction. And I've gone back into the workshop to find some awesome instruments of destruction, such as the Floor Polisher Demolisher by Pyrotechnikid. Now, this is supposed to be a prototype locomotion system in which when we press E, you can see it starts spinning these street sweeper style things. And in order to turn and go forward and back, it actually changes the behavior. So I can press A and D to turn left and right and to do that it actually stops opposing uh sweepers and that causes us to turn left and right as you can see and then to go forward and back it actually angles them like this so that's to go forward and this is to go back so these things are always spinning in the same direction but because of how it tilts it on different edges of the uh of the rotation it actually changes which direction it's rotating as it touches the ground or not which direction is rotating but which direction that force translates to the vehicle so that's actually pretty cool how uh how much damage can we do on a ram here buildings are kind of resilient do we have tough structures on we do not have tough structures on all right and then i believe there is also here let me back up here i believe ah uh, yeah there we go of course there's also some uh, machine gun weaponry <laughs> Because this is still instruments of destruction, not just principles of locomotion. Although most principles of locomotion can be uh, converted into an instrument of destruction in this game. Hence the name, Instruments of Destruction. But that's just the first uh, creation on the list. Let's take a look at what other crazy instruments of destruction we're going to be looking at today. Whoa, okay. Oh, this is massive. This is too massive. By Smillo, this is the Crawling Kaiju 2.0. Uh, I don't know if... Oh, alright, we're not falling down. I don't know what how this thing's gonna work. Ooh! Whoa, this is fancy! Alright, so we got the rotation points right here for the legs, but then we've got these wheels that cause the legs to angle uh, as they rotate, creating this stepping motion, and actually, it's, it's working surprisingly well. Uh, we got this crazy head up here. Um, wait, what does turning look like, though? Okay, there's turning. Turning seems to actually work pretty well. Here, let me turn to the left here. Go forward a little bit. It's very, uh, it's very slow going. All right, Q and E. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love the, uh, even though it doesn't really do anything, but aesthetically, I love the, uh, the cables attaching the top and bottom jaw. That's awesome. And we've got full control over the neck as well. Uh, number eight and five, what does that do? Wait, what? What is it? What is that doing? Is that a tail? Oh, we have control over water. What are you doing? Okay. I mean, sure. We'll put the tail right there. I don't know if we can really do much with the tail, but it's there. All right, but of course, I got to chomp some buildings with this thing. All right, so this is as wide as I can open my mouth. Let's get up on the top of that building and chomp right through it. I don't know what it is, but creating creations with mouths the chomping is so satisfying on the buildings all right and let's turn over to this one give that a good chomp too too bad i can't turn the head sideways to get like a, a horizontal chomp fit the whole building within the jaws never cease to be satisfied in this game oh look at that look at the sphere of explosive const uh, destruction i almost said construction this is the exact opposite of construction. All right, let's move on to another awesome creation. Oh, what are we doing way over here? Oh, this is bad. I should probably go to a different map. Hold on. This is the Sand Blaster, also by Pyrotechnic Kid. But this thing deserves a big, wide open map, and that's what we got. It's, like, it's also called the Sand Blaster, so we're gonna have a sandy map here. Oh, that's a lot of controls. Man, look at this thing. What do we got going on here? Look at these, what? We've got wheels on our wheels. These are some crazy wheels. Oh. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. That's W and S. It changes the direction. Wait a minute. Is this some type of, like, draw? What, what is going on in here? There is some stuff going on in here. I love these diamond uh, plates, though. All right. Well, oh. Whoa. Hold on. Oh, no way. Wait. How does that even... How does that even work? Wait, what? There's an actual... Uh, there's an actual gear system going on here. This is being controlled by these. 
Well, I gotta get, I gotta like try to get in here and see what's going on. Yeah, look at that. These are rotating, causing this green uh, gear to rotate. And then that rotates this shaft, which goes back to here, which then rotates, which rotates this wheel, which rotates this entire axle, which rotates both wheels. This is, this is crazy. All right, but we've got a bunch of, oh my goodness, we've got lasers too. Oh, all right, let's activate the drive. Oh, look at that. That's a massive laser. We just destroyed everything already. Okay, how do I turn off the laser? There we go. Laser is off. Okay, now we got arrows. All right, I don't know what the arrows do. Oh man, look at the spoiler design. That's so good. Oh, oh, we can actually open these up and close them. This is such a, look at the design from this angle or like this angle this looks so good and the spikes coming out of the top there there's like attachment blocks here oh we've got spoiler control what this is a whole transforming vehicle look at this so cool oh and it has forwards and reverse oh that's cool so there's a new uh a new update made it so that the thrusters you can turn off their effects because these are actually thrusters. So the way that this works is you can go forward by aiming them in one direction, and then you can go in reverse by rotating all the thrusters to the other direction. Man, I'm surprised this vehicle isn't more laggy. All right, let's take a look at another creation. Okay, up next is the Neutron Star by the Triple P Pi, the Triple Pi. This one looks like it deserves some more buildings to be around. So, looks like we got normal drive, WASD, E, Oh no, here we go. <laughs> just going over, oh my goodness, the lag is insane right now. This is just going overboard on the gravity vortexes. Wait, the whole thing, wait, did, is the whole thing warping? Are you seeing that? I could have sworn it didn't look round. Oh, look at that. The roundness of it, the structural integrity seems to be like collapsing at times, but it seems to fix itself. All right, I'm gonna do Q, I'm gonna reverse. I think Q might reverse. Oh yeah, there we go. Everything is going away now. That building is uh, it's, it's, it's just being snapped. Okay, I think I missed out on the opportunity. There's a button that actually attaches us to the ground, so we'll stay still. All right, I'm gonna do the repel function. And uh, it only took a couple of frames for those buildings to just be completely demolished. Oh, look at that building. Oh, that was really satisfying. You put enough gravitational vortexes in a circle and you're just gonna cause some mass destruction. All right, let's see what other crazy creations we got. All right, this is the ATC missile launcher by Tatsumisan, And this is apparently made for the test island. So let's head over to the test island and see what this is all about. All right, E and Q. All right, looks like this that rotates this uh, radar thing. All right, so uh, number one. Oh, it has to be number pad. Okay, number pad one. Oh, it's so floppy. What? Why would you do that? Why would you make floppy missiles? This is not what I was... Oh, okay. Whoa, we did some damage. I don't think that's how this is supposed to work, though. The bomb... The bomb is literally on the ground. Is this how this is... Is this what this is supposed to be? When the description said it was calibrated for Test Island, I thought it meant it was, like, gonna aim at the building. I've got the radar on and everything. Maybe I have, <laughs> maybe I have the radar uh, rotating in the wrong direction. Let's go in this direction instead. Maybe that'll fix everything. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna launch them all like one after another really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no, they're just floppy. I don't think, I, I don't think you're supposed to have floppy missiles. Okay, yeah, I want to speak to the uh, to the chief engineer on this one. I've heard of floppy hammers, but I don't know about floppy missiles. And look, there's a weight. Wait, what? Wait, literally, wait. There's a weight on the side. That weight like intentionally makes them off balance to a single side. This is just a troll. Like, yeah, whoever designed this did not want it to. Have full functionality. Okay, we're gonna move on to another one. I hope I didn't miss something super obvious that would magically make it work perfectly, but uh, I just feel like that was a troll creation. All right, up next, this is a very unique creation. This is the Pencil Pusher by Junk Heap Bin Bag. So it's literally a pencil. Q attaches the floor, okay. 
right arrow for pencil push. Oh, it literally is a pencil pusher. Okay, well, let's go ahead and destroy this building. Yeah, all right, ready? Ready for this? You ready for this? Okay, I did, I, I extended a little bit too soon there. <laughs> now we're a pencil, pencil hopper, pogo pencil. All right, but look at that, perfect. Nailed the landing. This is such a nicely designed pencil, by the way. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attach myself to the ground, and now we're gonna do some real pencil pushing here. In three, two, one, go! Yeah! Oh! That was a pushy pencil. Nice and sharpened. This is the pencil that sharpens you by breaking you into shards. Let's go and take down that tower. What? That tower just stopped this pencil like that? Okay, well, there you go. Got my revenge. A little bit of a different interpretation on uh, pumping, pumping someone full of lead here. There we go. Okay, up next we have the Sus Sus by uh, Chippy Meow. And this looks like it's gonna be like a Beyblade of sorts. I don't, it has a gravity vortex on the bottom. Why is it bouncing already? All right, it goes forward. I don't, I honestly, I have no idea what to expect for this. Do I just drop it right here? I'm gonna press E. Wait, what? I don't know. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. This is not at all what I was expecting, but it's pretty cool. Oh! This is like a Beyblade, but you don't exactly let her rip. It's a controlled rippage. Look at that. With the gravity vortex, we're just taking a bunch of debris back with us. All right, yeah, that is not what I was expecting when it came to this thing. Look at the floppiness. <laughs> all right, here we go. Just gonna ram straight into it this time. It's so floppy. All right, but, oh, frame, it's killing the frames. All right, but much like other instruments of destruction, this instrument is very destructive. All right, I don't recommend this bay. This bay blade seems like it could have some, uh, some friendly fire. Okay, up next, a very impressive looking creation. This is the Armored Sphere by Dominus Noctis. That is an epic name. Okay, what? I've never seen a sphere this perfect built in this game. There's a, obviously these uh, panels have to overlap as it gets to the top, but this thing looks beautiful. I wonder if it does anything or is it just like, hey, I built, there's literally not even any controls. It's just that impressive of a build to be so perfect, like perfectly shaped. It has no functional parts. All right, well, let's take a moment to admire it in all of its glory as it slowly rocks back and forth. We may never see another shape as smooth as this one right here. This is an impressive one. All right, up next, we have the Mark 49 Landship Patrol by AAAA591. And it looks like this thing has got some long tracks and um, yeah, a bunch of weaponry, some other stuff and things. So let's push buttons, see what happens. All right, all right, I, just, I definitely got to push buttons and see what happens. Oh, I see. We have independent control of each track, so they can both go forward. They can both go backwards. Number one, activate some more radar stuff. Number two as well, okay. All right, R is a gun in the front, slow rate of fire. F, Mu okay, much higher rate of fire on those. Oh, all right, let's turn to the right. There we are, wow. Okay, let's look. I want to see that from this perspective, actually. All right, it's just those. What about these outside ones? All right, I don't know what number zero does. Number one. Oh, oh, there's a turret in the front, so we can turn it like that. Number five is to aim it up, and zero is to aim it down. There we go. See, what is that? Is that just like opening up the cockpit? Oh yeah, there's my there's my cockpit right there. So that's just like. Revealing the cockpit, that's pretty cool. Uh, then we, oh, we can aim that up and down. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. I like that turret design a lot. With the two sets of guns on the side. I feel like there are some guns that aren't being used though. Oh, S, I forgot that S and W aren't forward and back. Oh, but W does actually give us some boosters so we can go faster. And then the, that's the aiming lasers, I see. Okay, here we go. All right, now we're shooting everything. Yeah. This is a really well-designed vehicle. I like the aesthetics of this a lot. 
Okay, up last, we have the special V Mark II by Unripe. And this is a really cool looking design for what looks like an aerial vehicle. Oh, look at the way they did the cockpit. It looks like a cockpit window with the curve and everything, but this is just a drill. That's such a clever idea. All right, I have no idea how to control this thing though. All right, there's some turning apparently. Okay, there's the landing gear, figured that out. All right, that looks like it's gonna pitch us up. That looks like it's gonna pitch us down. Oh, there's some roll. That's kind of fun. All right, R. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for takeoff. I wasn't ready for takeoff. Oh, wait, I found the machine guns. Okay, let's, uh, let's turn to the left over here a little bit. All right, now ready, R. Okay. Okay, control yourself. Wait, 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 come back. Oh, there it go. Okay, you know, I'm gonna need a different camera angle for this. Yeah, here it is. Okay, um, R. All right, cl control yourself. Oh, the follow cam doesn't follow enough. Uh, okay, okay, turn left. Ah, <laughs> I am not qualified for this. All right, let's try this one more time. I don't have a lot of confidence in my abilities, my piloting abilities on this one. There we go. And then up, oh boy, this follow cam is not meant for this, but it's working. It's working, I'm flying it. Oh, I actually feel like I almost know what I'm doing. Oh, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, okay. Pitch to the left. Oh, too much, too much, too much. I got this, I got, I'm actually flying something. I've never flown something this fast in this game. Okay, pitch over. Oh, I'm trying to shoot the building. Oh, and I just nosedive myself. Okay, let's just, let's get, you know what? I gotta try to land it though. Let's actually try to land this thing. I didn't even put the landing gear up that whole time. Oh! Ooh, don't worry, I can recover from this. Oh, uh, I guess I'm still recovering. I am recovering. Hold on. Just doing some fancy recovering. You ever seen him covering like this before? All right, don't worry, I got it. 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 Just gonna rotate around here. There we go. And just gonna go for a swim. All right, one more time. This is the one. No. Okay, all right, I'm recovering. All right, last try. Oh, look at that takeoff. That was good. See, if I could just maintain that level of control the whole time. Uh oh, I'm not doing it. Okay, now turn back. Turn back towards the island. There we go. And then go down. Then, then go down. No. Oh, we're skimming the water. That's kind of epic, though. Okay, turn off the... No, I can't turn off the thrust because I need the thrust. Ah! Okay, turn off the th yeah, Okay, go down. Go down. Go down. Oh, I landed. No, don't flip over. Oh, nailed it. Oh, it's perfect. No issues whatsoever. I'm alive. Okay, so which one of these creations was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the channel right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.